Hey guys, so we're taking the Baber corn back there to White Horse RV to take a look at Ember travel trailers. Um, we have learned that we need a wet bath, minimally. Wife doesn't like late at night going to try and take a 19 month old to the bathrooms at a campground. Um, and of course boondocking, we wouldn't have a bathroom at all. Uh, we need to keep the dinette converted to a bed in most medium sized to small travel towers, which is what we're interested in. Um, and we need a bed that just stays a bed. So Murphy bed doesn't do anything for us because it just stays down as a bed and we would never convert it. And we need a really good awning in the front that's easy to use because that would be our dining room. So those are going to be some of the parameters, that and quality and overall size. And let's uh, go take a look at Ember. All right, guys, so we're here at White Horse RV, and look what I found. Yep. Uh, I'll take you in, but first I want to just point out some really great stuff. You really have to come and see this stuff. You got this grab handle here. Not that secure, to be honest with you, but the steps monstrous um, look at the dual axle even though it's a short trailer and then you can see from out here from far away like the shocks setups on this is just absurd um, especially because I wouldn't be doing anything but going through sugar sand beautiful window panes just open out big storage compartment big awning and I want to point out these new stabilizers that everyone is using because they kind of came from this this trailer and trailers like it trying to be like beefy Australian outback kind of um, drag it through the mud stuff. Look at the just thickness of this thing. This is no problem holding up this tongue of this thing. They don't have even have the other ones down, you know. Got a lip over this, which is smart. You can tie off stuff in this. Obviously, you put your propane and whatnot here. This one has a slide, um, and it has a little back door. Look at the shocks on this thing. Full, full spare you can get in here see if I can show that to you and then uh, let's go inside well let's check, check the weight of this door all right it's kind of light on the light end and you've got a screen door and something I'm not sure what this is about Okay, so you've got a Murphy bed here. And then you've got your, your skylight here. Stargazer light is what I think they call it. That obviously opens out. And plenty of storage all around you for your sleeping. And then this looks like you, uh, it has a spot for a base there. So you can put that there and have like um your seating like a love couch theater seating kind of situation and sit and eat there and then there's space behind it as well which is kind of nuts more storage and then i guess this would well let's see check the arm on this yeah so this will swing out so that everyone can see it from all angles and then the reason for the double windows over here was that this has double bunks, which would actually be amazing for us. Big, big refrigerator, huge. Nice uh, setup here, including a microwave and venting. Lots of storage, your AC's above you. And then this one's important to us. Your bathroom, oh wow is a dry bath hmm 
I'm going to do something that uh, is kind of crazy. I'm going to sit down on this thing. So this is odd for the size of trailer. If this door is open, I have complete room in a dry bath on this mid-sized trailer to use the can and the commode. Nice finish, plastic. Uh, I'm not sure why they have water still running. Mira. This is real nice, but it is plastic and oh, okay. So this here is also a form of plastic. It's not like if you mess up and spray higher that you'd be hitting something that would absorb the water. So that's good to know. And then there's a little skylight if you're tall and a fan to keep this humidity out of here when you're running water, which none of us are tall. Digging it. Let's go talk to the wifey, see what she thinks. 